Zoomer Radio and the sound of the dream boats. And uh, the reason for that is they're my guest right here live in the Zoomerplex. And uh, the dream boats, let me give you a little backstory. I heard about them probably two to three months ago. They were going to play a club called 744, which we play a couple times a month. And I saw their video, and a lot of people were talking about them. Some of the people had seen them in the past. I didn't see them until a few weeks ago at an event. Uh, And I'm telling you, as soon as they started playing, well, as soon as you saw them, uh, you just knew there was something very special about them. So they're here. We've got Johnny and Richie and Matt. There's a fourth member who's currently serving a prison sentence or something. Is he, where is he? Folsom. Milton. Folsom. He's in Milton. He's up at the cottage. He's up at the cottage. Well, good. But uh, too bad he couldn't be here. So, guys, thank you for coming by. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much for having us, Robbie. Yeah. And uh, that song's from your EP, which is out now, but you're also working on some new stuff, which we'll talk about later. So I'm going to start with you, Johnny. And uh, how did the Dream Boats come to be, and when? Hmm, I'd have to say uh, we came to be in 2009. Um, I was at school at Metalworks, met this guy who used to work at a music uh, shop. We kind of got together with some old friends of ours, and the only tunes we knew how to jam to were just Beatles songs, early Beatles songs. And, uh, you know, after that, I got a call from Richie here, and he was like, hey, Johnny, you want to do this band? He, he's got a way of kind of beating around the bush sometimes. He's like, I have this idea for this band, and we're going to like do this thing, playing these old Beatles things and wear these vests and, and do a thing. You want to do it? And I said, sure. <laughs> <laughs> the rest is twistery, as we say. <laughs> yeah, I noticed um, the one thing I noticed about you guys, besides the fact that you're really good musically and vocally, is that you look really sharp on stage. Like, that's one of the things that you've made sure that this is what you're all about. You, the image is really important. Oh, thank you. Yes, definitely. That was Matt over there, so thank you. Yeah, so I'm going to have to tell you when uh, that was Matt. Richie sort of just flailing around in the middle, but uh, we'll talk to him in a minute. So one of the things we asked you to do is we're going to play a few of your songs tonight, but one of the things we ask you to do and any guest to come in is uh, choose some songs that you particularly really love and feel that influenced you. Now, you mentioned uh, that, Johnny, that uh, when... When Richie uh, called you, he said, you know, let's jam some songs, and you knew the Beatles songs, so it's obvious that uh, that was something that you had in mind already. Yep. You want, you knew there was a, a place for a retro band, but with a different kind of a, a, kind of a, a, a slide to it, like a different look and a, and a younger feel and more energy. Yeah, well, I mean, we found that, you know, the bands that were playing that music were older people who kind of lived in I that I beg generation. your pardon. <laughs> oh, careful. <laughs> that we're... Uh... Okay, that wraps it up. <laughs> <laughs> and we're fired. We're done. <laughs> but uh, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're typically older people who lived, you know, during those times, and we didn't know any bands that were really covering these songs and playing them, and we just genuinely loved playing these early Beatles songs, and that's what got us started. I know Richie here had a big, you know, in, infatuation with... Uh, La Bamba, the movie, that's kind of his Bible, as we always say. And, you know, we started throwing in other covers that we liked with the Beatles, and it just kind of formed into this thing. We found that audiences, younger audiences, really liked it, what we were doing. Well, a whole new generation, you are responsible for a whole new generation (laughs) listening to that kind of music and thinking of it in some way as kind of new to them, because it is new to them. It is, and we've noticed, though, that it's very timeless. You know, no matter how you look at it, everyone knows the songs of Great Balls of Fire, uh, you know, the Johnny B. Good. It's just part of pop culture now, and we're bringing it back. Well, let's play a couple of them. You mentioned Johnny B. Good, Chuck Berry, the godfather of rock and roll without any question, and the Beach Boys, one of my favorite groups to see live with Brian Wilson in it. So let's play them both. We're live with the Dream Boats at Zuma Radio. Zuma Radio here live with the Dream Boats, uh, one of the best bands you could ever go and see, and I want you to go and see them. They're playing a gig at the Horseshoe Tavern. I believe it's August the 19th, and uh, we're going to talk to them about some of the other things that they'll be doing. They're always busy. This is one band that doesn't have to go knocking on doors to get work. It seems like uh, the work follows them and knocks on their door. 
So uh, before we get to the gigs, I want to speak to Matt because you're on the far end down there. Hey, Robbie. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Matt? I'm good, man. How are you? Good. And thanks for the cookies that you brought in. Oh, no problem. <laughs> yeah. He, d- he didn't really. <laughs> So uh, how have you been a, a member of the band from the beginning, or are you a late bloomer? I, you could call me a late bloomer. I joined the band back in 2013, but I've known the guy since, like, 2010. I was originally a sub-guitar player, but then the guitar player, both of them, actually, there were two others that had kids, so I kind of wormed my way in. <laughs> well, that's a good way of putting it. Yes. <laughs> um, now, it was it you that posted on Facebook that your parents think you're cool now? That was him. That was oh, that that was you. That was so him. your your mom and dad think you're pretty as cool. Soon as, as soon as I'm on the radio, <laughs> that's when I know that my mom and dad are proud of me. Okay. That is it. Well, that, so uh, at least they're proud of you for something. Exactly. His yeah. other accomplishments? <laughs> no. But radio. <laughs> Nothing else. It's all justified. Okay, so I mentioned the uh, Horseshoe coming up on uh, August the 19th. Yes. And there's a couple of other acts on that show, but you're closing the show. We are closing the show. Headlining or deadlining, we don't know, but I would say it's headlining. (laughs) It better be. Yeah. (laughs) So that'll be fun. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, on the 19th, we're playing with uh, some other local acts, and uh, we're really going to be promoting our new original material. So, uh, you know, we do all the covers and stuff at the bars, but really trying to pump the original music and, you know, Take it to the next level. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And see, the acceptance level for you guys is already at a very high level because you have pleased your audiences by just doing what you do. So they're now at the point where they're primed for your uh, original <laughs> material. Yeah. Well, hopefully, you know, that's the plan. That's what we're going for. Yeah. And everyone seemed to like it so far, I think. You know, we've always had a good response from everyone that's listened. So we're trying to make the next release even better. And we're trying to make these original shows super extra awesome. Okay. <laughs> and if anybody wants to know where you are, your website is? Our website is www.thedreamboatsband.com. You got to make sure you put the band in there yeah. because the dreamboats.com is for some yachts. Uh, you can purchase them if you'd like. It's also a very good website. But the dreamboatsband.com is the spot. Okay. We're cheaper as well than those. A little cheaper. <laughs> yeah, the yachts get kind of expensive now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so the dreamboatsband.com. That's how you find out where they are. And I'm telling you, if you want an experience, no matter what age group you're from, if you're a Zoomer or the kid of a Zoomer or the grandkid of a Zoomer, you're going to love this show. It's really a good one. Well, we talked about some music that uh, influenced them, but we're going to play a song uh, in a moment or two that is a song from their latest EP, and it's called uh, Don't Go Home, and we'll play that right after this. Tarzan Dan is the... Zoomer Radio and the Dream Boats here live at the Zoomer Plex, and that's one of their songs. And uh, we're going to talk to Richie. He's the guy in the middle for right now. Um, he may be replaced any minute. But <laughs> Richie, tell us about that song. Tell us the name of the song and uh, how it all happened. That's definitely uh, one of my favorite songs, sung by the other singer in this band, who is also one of my favorite singers of all time and uh, musicians of all time, and that's uh, Mr. Fliggers B. Lewis. And uh, this song... Johnny, I'm sorry to interrupt. Johnny, can you swing your mic over yeah. to him because it's uh, his is not working. Oh, Am no. I on here? Oh, here yeah, I am. Perfect. I'm a little better. It's going to wow. be at all. From the top. Here we go. <laughs> so it's your your favorite song. You, the other guy who's not here, he's in prison. Yes. Uh, he yes. sings lead on this. Yes. Okay. Yes. But tell us why it's your favorite. It's uh, definitely one of the... When, when we did this EP, one of the poppier things that I really like and I yeah. really like the poppy stuff and you know with, with the dream boats starting off you know the retro rock and pop is what right. we like to say and to me like that movie that came up like the wonders back in like the 90s where it was yeah. like this oh, revival yeah. kind of sound and, and that reminds me of it a lot and just seeing how like he was just a great songwriter with this and the lyrics with his girlfriend about you know his girlfriend's mom like calling him off the hook and snapping on him and you know and uh, and very innocent uh, which was 
kind of what he wanted to capture when he was telling me about the song with like how innocent the times were and a song about just getting reamed out by <laughs> by I guess your your girlfriend's mother and hoping that you don't make her mad I guess yeah mm -hmm. yeah well that certainly was completely nonsensical <laughs> <laughs> okay let me make that a little better let me make that a little better no it's okay Richie <laughs> we're gonna move on now <laughs> yeah <laughs> no I, I appreciate that and it's nice to you that you're keeping it simple the whole idea of this band is to take us back to another time which was simple and uh, probably better. Uh, growing up in the 50s and 60s, I can tell you from experience, was a much different world. And uh, I would totally wouldn't want to be a teenager coming up in the world today. I think it's probably far too fast and uh, everything happen has to happen quickly. You mean you don't uh, play Pokemon Go? No, not, oh not right now. I had to quit. <laughs> Uh, gotcha. Yeah, no, you're not going to see me out there wandering around on the street with my phone. You could see me wandering around on the street, but it wouldn't be with my phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, just it is sleep. All right, so Matt, I'm going to come to you because we're going to play a couple of songs here, one by the Beatles and one by Buddy Holly. Boy. And uh, tell us a little bit about what influence those two artists might have had on you. Well, the Beatles were the first band I ever heard in my life, so like from a very young age, they've been very special to me and... Their music has been very influential. George Harrison's one of my, probably my number one favorite guitar player for this group. Ah, uh, you're right. Yeah. So the Beatles and Buddy Holly, really, Buddy Holly. I guess, for much the same reason, but a different sort of uh, area of the world. I actually originally didn't like Buddy Holly very much. I used to get teased that I looked like him when I was in school, but after a while, I kind of embraced it and said, "Screw those guys." <laughs> yeah. Well, that's always good. Yes. Yeah. And do we have a delete button for him? In case he... <laughs> Matt, I'm, I'm on the same boat, man. I'm rambling on as well. So, so and, and then, of course, you know that the early Beatles material, a lot of it was influenced by Buddy Holly. It was. They yeah. loved Buddy Holly. Big fans, yeah. yeah. And uh, what's really kind of odd about this whole thing and how it all connects is that a lot of the 50s acts from North America couldn't get arrested in North America anymore. But after the Beatles... Um, they could go and work in Europe and in England, and uh, they'd do big shows all over the place. Del Shannon oh, yeah. just couldn't get booked, so he went there and was booked constantly. And uh, the story's the same for a lot of those 50 sacks. He's wow. the reason that from me to you got into the U.S. also, right? That's exactly. The first Beatles song to be charted yes. was by oh. Del Shannon. Wow. So let's play a couple of those songs. Uh, Matt, we're going to play a Beatles song and a Buddy Holly song. Dreamboats live, Zoomerplex. You'll never know how much I really love you. I want my bed for me. Zoomer Radio and uh, Buddy Holly, oh boy, and the Beatles before that. Listen, do you want to know a secret? We're here with uh, Johnny and Richie and Matt, and they use all kinds of different names, so you never know really who you're talking to. I think maybe they owe taxes or something, so they're just trying to keep it quiet. But um, when we were playing that Beatles song, uh, Johnny, you mentioned that you did a, a European tour and you actually played at the Cavern in uh, England. Yeah, we actually went uh, last May. Um, we made the uh, trek to the Holy Land, also known as Liverpool, and uh, we were given the opportunity to, pl to play for uh, the International Pop Overthrow Festival that they had there. So we played uh, Friday night at the back room of the Cavern, which you know, so many artists have played there, including Paul McCartney in fairly recent years. And then at the front room, which has, you know, the classic cavern yeah. arches and it's really cool. And I, I'm not sure, have you been there? No. Well, it's great. You know, you kind of go into this dungeon about three uh, flights of stairs down and then you just emerge and you see a band playing on the stage and it gives us goosebumps kind of just thinking about it. And it was always a dream since day one. We were like, imagine we played at the cavern. And then when it happened last year, we, we couldn't believe it. It was so, a dream come true. What, how did the audience, I know that there were some Canadian people there, so they'd be yeah. very supportive. But generally speaking, the rest of the audience, how did they receive you guys? Uh, not... I mean, we're, like I said, we try to be humble guys, but apparently, you know, the reviews we got from that concert were great. People saying we were the band of of the festival, which is a multi, you know, I think a five day festival. People really loved it. We were the talk of the talk of the a festival. A lot of very kind words. Very kind everybody. words. Taking pictures with people. It, we couldn't have asked for a better experience, and we hope to go back. Oh, well, I'm point. sure you will. Yeah. With that kind of. Uh, you know, respect from Hopefully. those people. <laughs> Made yeah. a lot of friends down there for sure. Definitely. Well, well that's good. Yeah. So you guys really are just on the sort of the brink of something much, much bigger. And you've mentioned 
that you're recording, you're doing the vocals now for your uh, new recordings that are coming out probably in the fall? Uh, yes, uh, in the fall, four-track EP, another one that we're coming up with. And uh, it's, yeah, we were, we're really happy with these songs and how they're sounding so far and really want to put the touch on it. We're hoping to uh, have it released in November and, and we actually want to go back to Europe um, next April, I think, is the plan. Okay, good. Yeah. Now, if somebody wants to pick up uh, the EP that's available now, they can order it through the dreamboatsband.com. Uh, funny question. We actually have two websites. This isn't to confuse anyone, but if you go to the dreamboatsband.com, that's kind of for our cover gigs and all that stuff, but it's a good place to get started. We've also got uh, it on iTunes as well. Of okay. course. On iTunes, you can get the MP3s, um, but if you go on the sidebar, you'll say there's a little sign that says, we have our own music here. You click on that, and that's going to get you to where you can order our vinyl. We actually, Rob, do we have a second here? Can sure. I give you something? Actually, we have a gift for you. You do? Well, I hope it's cash. <laughs> <laughs> Whole hard cash. It's a two-part gift. <laughs> All right. So part one is that you get a copy of our vinyl here. So oh, we had these pressed. It's wow. 45. It has love control. And don't go home yep. on it. Thank you so much. That's, that's step amazing. one. Amazing. Yeah. And we so also have a uh, sweaty pair of underpants as well. From well, a that's coming a little later. <laughs> I, I get those from everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second gift, uh, because when we met you, we took a picture with you and you said, you can only take a picture if we gave you a copy. So we have a copy here for you. Oh, wow. It's taken from a cell phone though. So, you know, it's a little, little <laughs> pixelated, <laughs> but it's looking good. Not and the bad. frame is from Walmart, so it might fall apart, yeah. but it's the thought that counts. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Thank you, guys. One and for the is, wall of shame. is the cash inside the picture here? Or oh, something? Definitely. Richie, you didn't bring that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, I just wanted this. to say thank you. And in addition, I have to say thank you because you gave us some gifts here earlier in the show. Oh, before the show, um, you gave me, Robbie gave me, Johnny, this <laughs> literal album of Elvis 78s. Yeah which I can't believe I'm holding right now. And their songs on, what's on here? Heartbreak Hotel. We've got, uh, I can't even, they're all handwritten by, by you as a kid. Yeah, as, as, as a kid. Yeah. Seven-year-old Robbie's yep. penmanship. You have very nice penmanship. Thank you. Say. <laughs> um, so thank you so much. Awesome and gifts. for this Beatles book yes. from, what year is this 1964. from? 1964. This wow. is amazing. Thank you so much. Yes. This You're very means welcome. a lot. Well, I got I nothing, but I'm honored to be here, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, Matt. Well, we're just not going to talk to you for the rest of the hour. <laughs> you didn't bring anything. <laughs> it's from all of us. Yeah, I know that. Thank you for that. Vinyl is amazing. Now, can people order this? Definitely. Yeah, oh, wow. there's not many left. We only had, I think, 330 pressed, and uh, we took that to Europe last year. We sold a lot of those over there, and we have a few left, um, maybe about 20 or so. So if you want them, get them now. Thank you so much. We're going to come back with the Dream Boats because that's what we have to do. And uh, we're going to play an Everly Brothers song. And Richie, who has a daughter named Everly. Yes. And uh, she's just how many weeks old? Seven weeks? She's oh, seven to eight weeks old right now, born on uh, June the 2nd. All right. And you're sure it's yours? I'm, I'm positive. I'm okay, positive. Good. All right. <laughs> well, we'll come back and play that Everly Brothers song <laughs> right after this. <laughs> Motor to the sun. Zoomer Radio, AM 740, and downtown Toronto, FM 96.7. It is the Robbie Hour. Normally, it's the 9 o'clock mix, but on Thursday nights, we have special guests. And tonight, it's the Dream Boats, and uh, just one of the best bands that you could possibly hear or see these days. They're very fresh, very energetic, and the music, which is timeless. Uh, and you just heard a song that they chose, the Everly Brothers, and Richie is going to lean into the microphone and tell us about his beautiful seven-week, well, seven-week-old daughter. Yes. Who is named Everly. Yes, Everly. And she's at home, probably not listening to you. No, she's probably squirming about, Sleeping. maybe demanding milk. Yeah, well, that's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> and if she's not demanding milk, you are. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so um, now, as I said to you, with a family... You know, uh, your life is a little bit different, but you said this is going to just give you more of a kind of a incentive. Definitely. To go I, forward. I, I love music. I've been doing it for a long time. I've been banned since I was uh, out of high school and even, yeah, even in high school. And just I love music and I feel like now more than ever I have to step it up and I want to play as much as possible. We, were, we got a nice schedule 
uh, happening, but uh, definitely want to get this original music out and uh, yeah, make it happen. So, and you told me that you're working with kids, musically speaking. Tell yes. us a little bit about that. Uh, I work at a music school uh, based in Mississauga called Rock Pro. Um, I do camps, I do private lessons, and yeah, I, I get kids from point A to point B. I like to I like to let them pick the songs that they like to sing and play, and just show them the basics and uh, and just get them performance. I love seeing. You know, the kids get out there and perform and get a little nervous and, uh, and rock out. I love that. I'd like to come out and see you do that sometime. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's play a couple other songs. A Little Richard, always been, for me, one of my heroes. I've always loved Little Richard. He was just so edgy, especially for that those times. When you think about the uh, mid-1950s. He was wild for his he time. He was wild. And uh, people, a lot of um, top 40 white radio stations would not play. Yeah, uh, it little was the Richard. Pat Boone stuff they play, right? Exactly. That's why Pat Boone covered a lot of that Little Richard material. But when you hear Pat Boone sing Tutti Frutti, oh, All Rooty, oh. I mean, you know, it just doesn't <laughs> quite make it. Tutti Frutti, All Rooty. No, no, no. That's, <laughs> uh, that's somebody else. No. All right, so the and the pen, you chose a song by the Penguins, Earth Angel, which is uh, one of those doo-wop uh, specialties. And who, who chose that and why, Richie? I, um, I like to think... As far as all influences that uh, helped create this band, one of them would definitely be Back to the Future, the uh, Earth Angel, Johnny B. Good scene, and uh, definitely one of the best ballads of all time, I guess, to our generation because of that movie. And, and you know what? I've figured this out about you. Your life is a movie. It is. Everything relates to a movie, don't it you is. think? <laughs> In more ways than you can even imagine. Yeah, yeah, we well, cannot we, get into that. We don't want to talk about the adult channel. <laughs> oh, wow. with, but that's a whole different story. Richie's life is, is a, an ongoing movie, definitely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> definitely. Well, let's play Little Richard and let's play the Penguins, Earth Angel, on Zuma Radio. Zimmer Radio and uh, special guest night on Thursday night, and it's been the Dream Boats. And I want to thank Johnny and Richie and Matt, you guys, uh, for coming by. And um, what I want to get in before the end of the night is another song that you recorded. But before we play that, Johnny and Richie and Matt can tell us about the August 19th date that we should all go to at the Horseshoe. Yes. Can you buy tickets in advance? Uh, you can. I believe they're at Rotate This, um, which is a shop downtown. But I think, you know what, your your safest bet is just to show up and buy them at the door. I think they're 7 bucks, or unless you know the secret yeah. handshake, you can uh, you can talk to us about that message us privately. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's uh, – I would say just show up at the door, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It will be a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a perfect place for you guys to play, and it's a perfect place to showcase the band once again – to get try and get you to the next level that we've been talking about, and if anybody wants to check out the the band and see what they look like, and or maybe maybe you don't want to see what they look like, but awesome. if you do want to see what they look like and pick up some of their recorded material, you can go to you can go to www.thedreamboatsband.com. And can I also say that we're actually big on the Instagram for any of the tech savvy people out there, and we're uh, at so the at sign, the dream boats. We actually have our picture with you, Robbie, uh, up on our Instagram, and we gave you your first ever hashtag, um, Robbie Lane hashtag. So oh, yeah. oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> but you didn't bring any hash with you. Tonight. That's the only. That would have been better. Well, yeah. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Next time. Next time. Indeed. <laughs> thank you so much, you guys. It's been a lot of fun. We've thank had you. a good time thank with you, you tonight and uh, love to hear more of your music. And uh, we're going to do that right now. I shall return tomorrow night with the 60s at 6. Right now, it's the Dream Boats on Zoomer Radio. She walks right into my show, I'll probably die Been a while, but I remember all You hugged your tiny kisses when you passed me in the halls You see your smile, your little my day So I thought I'd say hello, I know It goes to show you're not alone My mind, my heart, you always had a home 
until this day Still make me wanna say Wow, 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 wow She's a wild one Take me out and dance Purple letters in my pockets When you send me candy grams I kind of die Take me back until the day and night You're the prettiest thing ever You're the apple of my eye You see your smile, your little mind day So I thought I'd say hello I know it goes to show you're not alone My mind, my heart, you always had a home Until this day, still make me wanna say Wow, 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 wow Wow, wow. 